I believe you have an excellent time in the season with your master on the mountain from a place where you can have perspective as you're looking down into your circumstances, into the valley where you are facing some challenges, even success, and where you need to deal with a lot of things, but also need to understand how to live with a perspective of truth that will always give you freedom for tomorrow freedom to do his will freedom to understand his will freedom to live from a place of fulfillment when we look and uh, talk about fulfillment then we see verse 6 of the beatitudes matthew 5 blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness for they will be filled those who hunger and thirst those who have an expectation in God those who want to be dependent on him know that they need to be dependent on him those who want to be aligned with him and him alone so I bless you my brother that you will have a hunger as the word says Luke 4 4 Matthew 4 4 man shall not live by bread alone but from every word the word that establishes you in righteousness establishes you with stature in the right position that God has for you may you have a hunger for the Word of God and thirst for more of him as the living water may you have it refreshed in the freshness through the fountain of life with the Holy Spirit flowing in and through you let it be so with the Word and the Spirit of God, that you have a hunger and a thirst, and that you from that place with the Word and the Spirit, you will find your rightful place, your stature, righteousness, Christ our righteousness, that we will find and you will find, yes, your position in Him, in that place. You choose, I choose by the grace of God, that there we will have satisfaction, there we will be filled as the word is saying there you want to have satisfaction that's the place of satisfaction that you desire that you go for why because you are teachable and you are teachable as the word says blessed are the meek for they will inherit the earth because you have a heart of flesh not a heart of stone why because you really came with brokenness and true repentance before God as verse 4 says blessed are those who mourn for they will be comforted why because you came with honesty and humility before the Lord as verse 3 says blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is a kingdom of heaven I challenge you to build into those foundations more and more detail and quality for your life so that blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness will not be based on the strong personality or the opinion. No, not faith just to go forward and stand firm with what you believe. No, to have the faith to be open to change. That you know you are safe with Him by being open to change. Yes, yes. That was the place and is the place to those who are walking with meekness. They who inherit the earth. That your inheritance on the earth, successful destiny, that is not your stature. The earth that you inherited, all your success, that's not your stature. But you are blessed if you understand that through the hunger for the word of God, the thirst, through more of his spirit and the fresh living water, that that and from that place you have stature. Let it be so. So I challenge you in Jesus' name. Let it be so for your life. Amen.